set our Reese's Pieces little candies aside for a minute. And we're gonna use those later in our recipe. This is one and a half cups of creamy peanut butter. And we're gonna get all that out of there. And make sure you get every bit. We're gonna use this for our fun dessert. I didn't show you our peanut butter. I'm using the natural peanut butter. And there's some questions about that. And maybe you have a good tip. And you can use regular, but I'm using the natural because it's what I had on hand. And I'm gonna use another half a cup of peanut butter. Get that scraped out of there. Get it into our bowl. And we're gonna mix that up just a little bit before we add our next ingredient, which is our cream cheese. We're gonna use a block of cream cheese. This is such a fast and easy, fun recipe that I think you're gonna use throughout the fall for those football parties, ball get-togethers, and it's kind of that time of year, everybody's getting just very anxious, I think, for fall to come. I know I am, so we're gonna do this today, and I think you're gonna love it, and it's already coming together. Very, oh, smooth, 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 smooth. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla, my big jug of, you can tell I use it a lot and bake, <laughs> just a teaspoon. Add a little extra flavor. We're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna blend this up and mix it. Remember, start low. We're gonna blend the cream cheese and peanut butter. Remember, that was a one and a half cups of peanut butter. And then we're gonna have a block of cream cheese. I'm gonna hold on to it tight. And I'm gonna mix that up. I'm gonna turn that mix around a little bit more. Get it nice and smooth and creamy. And we're gonna have the best dessert I think you're gonna ever have. It's gonna be fun and delicious. And then I'm gonna add a cup and a half of powdered sugar. Here's our cup, go on that. And then we're gonna go again on slow. And we're gonna get all that goodness. Just incorporate that together. Like I said, this is easy, it's quick. I think everybody will love it, especially if you love peanut butter and you love Reese's Pieces like I do, my family does. Mix that up. We're going to make a Reese's Pieces ball. And you will see what I'm talking about in a few minutes and it's all coming together. See how that's blending? We want to get all of that goodness. I'm going to turn that up just a little bit. Just don't get it all over yourself. Let's do that. And I'm going to add, measured out. I picked up also the Reese's Pieces, the little peanut butter chips. And that's about a half a cup. If you want to use the whole bag, go for it. If you love peanut butter, you might want to use the whole thing. Here we go. It's blended good. And those, and those aren't really breaking up. You're no, just... they're not. I'm just incorporating that. And we're going to have a nice little chocolate, not chocolate chip, but you could add chocolate chip. Uh, the peanut butter chips, which I think is fun. And they're Reese's brand. So it'll kind of go with our theme we got going on here. Okay. Okay, now that this is all ready, blend it and it smells wonderful. So we have our cling wrap here or saran wrap and I'm gonna lay it out over the plate we're gonna use. Look at this plate. It gets you into the fall mood, right? And I'm gonna kind of stretch that out. And you probably can see where I'm going with this, this idea. Here's a quick tip. I learned from my mom and my grandma again that they put their saran wrap in the freezer. Do you put your saran wrap in the freezer? It just helps it spread out more. And right now I'm putting, makes it easier to work with. Anyway, I am putting this ball in the middle of this saran wrap. And we are gonna, my hands are clean. Look at this. <laughs> I'm a peanut butter lover fan. And this is gonna, really turn out so cute and delicious. 
and we're gonna put this right here. We're gonna wrap this, we're gonna put this in the middle, and I'm just gonna rip that off. It's I know it's something that I always hated making balls of like for Christmas, like cheese balls, but it really is easy. But definitely get your saran wrap, put that in the freezer, and I think that'll help help the process. And we're gonna put this into the refrigerator for two hours to chill. Now that we've let this set, our fall, look at that. Look at this. It doesn't have to be rock solid hard. You really don't want it because we're going to add some candies to the top. Look at that. And we're going to push that in a little bit. My hands are clean. I just washed them. And we're going to see how easy that comes together. This yeah. is going to be so cute. I'll wipe my hands a little bit. And then I'm going to bring our candies back over our Reese's. And all you do now is start doing this. This is what takes the time. Other than that, it's pretty quick and easy. And if you have kids, this might be a fun thing for them to help you do. I'm just gonna stick these all over and we're gonna go, keep going around and around. Whoop, that one's got a little weird size. So move that. And we just keep decorating all the way around. And this, remember, had those other little Reese's chips in the middle. So peanut butter lovers will love it. Chocolate, it's kind of got it all. I'm just gonna keep doing this. How cute would this be to pull out at a party? Football, people over for party during that time of year, fall, oh, yeah, this would be get a together, hit. tailgate. It actually came from a tailgate idea, actually, because you can take it with you. It's easy. So don't let that rolling of the ball intimidate you. Like I said before, it has intimidated me, and it really turns out pretty good. You just have to kind of get used to doing it, experiment, and it doesn't matter what color you have. You just kind of keep moving around. And if you don't want any more, you don't, but I'm going to keep going. So just kind of bear with me because we're just going to do that. We're just going to smoosh it in a little bit. And it doesn't have to be fully covered, but it is kind of cute if you just keep going around, covering it up. I think we're almost there. Get the sides if you want. You don't have to. Just do as much or as little as you want. And it's going to be a crowd favorite. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love this so much, this idea. And then we're going to add, gonna, I chose a little graham cracker sticks. These are the cinnamon. I've never used them. And I'm gonna put those in the bowl to make it easy to work with. Whoops, one got away, that's okay. And we're just gonna decorate the side. Now you can use any kind of cookie, regular graham crackers. You can keep the theme going with a peanut butter, but I kind of like the idea this is like a little stick. So we're gonna just put that all the way around. And just, it's, it couldn't be any simpler, but look how cute it is. This would be so cute, actually during Thanksgiving too. Oh yeah. Look, it has all the colors. It kind of has a turkey I know, I was gonna going say, on. we could almost turn this into turkey, maybe next time. <laughs> we'll do it. I'm just gonna keep going around it comes together very quickly. Like I said, you can just use regular graham crackers, whatever you want. It's up to you. Put your own spin or idea. I've never used these little graham cracker sticks, so I thought that would be kind of fun. Now, at the very end, I'm gonna try to keep them in there, and I think we're about done on that. Look at that, isn't that cute? Now, if you want to do regular graham crackers, that would be about the size you want to go. Mm. So you could do that. But we're going to go with this today. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? I love it. And let's take a try. And you know what? I'm going to use my little... If you don't want anybody's fingers in there, provide a little... And I'm going to just do that. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 
It's so good. Yeah. So easy, fun.